welcome back. Well, you might recognize our next guest from Game Day Live right here on Nine News, but he wears many hats, including comedian. Welcome, Sam Adams, on the Cocoa Couch this morning. Yeah. Sam, how are you? I'm good. Nice to be back. Well, it's nice to have you back. All right, you've been reporting sports for most of your career, so we have to start off with one of the biggest questions in sports right now. What are your thoughts on Taylor Swift and Travis <gasps> Kells? <laughs> You know, I am getting <laughs> tired of that relationship. Uh, I wish it would have started in the playoffs so that we wouldn't hear yeah. about it. But now we have like this whole season <laughs> to have to hear about it. We're only like six games into the season. I know. You know, good for Travis. Uh, good for Taylor, I guess. Good for mom. She's getting all yeah. kind of attention. <laughs> but but um, look, I, I don't want to be mean, but I'm waiting for the breakup. You're waiting for the breakup. Because oh. all of her greatest hits are breakup songs. I know. It's you know? always about some guy. So it'll be yeah. about, this one will be about the tight end that comes running back. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, but I just had to start with that question. All right, in all seriousness, when did it occur to you to combine sports and comedy, Sam? Because that's something you do really well. Um, well, well, to be honest with you, when I first started doing comedy, and mm -hmm. it's been a while now, uh, almost a little more than 20 years uh, at that time I was writing for the Rocky Mountain News and uh, and my friends were encouraging me to do sports jokes and I said no because I go in the locker room and those guys see me and if I say <laughs> something about one of them it's gonna get back and I'm gonna get yeah. beat up and uh, so I stayed away from it initially and uh, this is one of the stories I tell in this new show uh -huh. uh, I, 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 I was at Comedy Works one night doing open mic and, uh, and I told a joke about, uh, I won't say the names, but two prominent Bronco players, and I said a joke about one of them, and, uh, and the audience laughed. And when I walked yeah. off the stage, the mother of one of the players oh, happened my to goodness. be in the audience. <laughs> I didn't appreciate what you said about my son. Yeah. So that let me know, don't do the jokes. But, oh, my but goodness. now I'm a little more comfortable about doing them. Yeah. And, uh, and it's more uh, not mean spirited type <laughs> jokes but just sports jokes in general of course and again that's something that we love about you now you do have a show coming up this weekend what can we expect when sam adams takes that stage it's a it's a unique storytelling type of show that morphs into comedy uh i did uh, sports for the better part of three decades and uh, i accumulated a lot of stories that come off of interviews and, oh, and, 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 and events that I covered, things that some of them I wrote about and some of them I just kept to myself. And I finally decided, hey, you know, some of this stuff would be really good for the stage. Uh -huh. So game set matches the show. Game because <laughs> I covered the game set because I did comedy, comedy sets, and then match because I matched the two together. That's right. And, and it, again, it's one of those things where it's original to you and uh, we absolutely love it. All right. Age range. What would you say is appropriate to come catch the show? Uh, I would say uh, young teenagers, age 13 and up. My, my comedy has always been clean. There's no profanity. I've done that uh, my entire career. And uh, the main thing that I want is for people to come. If you come as a family, that's great. But I want the young people to see that it's cool to be a journalist and, and you may not get the exact same same stories that I got, mm -hmm. but you will get some type of stories, and being a journalist is a cool thing. Maybe you can't throw a football and make $400 million, but <laughs> you can write about it, you and, can write uh, about and, it and find success in doing it. I love that you said that about the young teens. I, as a mother of a 15-year-old, we're always trying to encourage them in the right way, and you use comedy and sports to do that. It's wonderful. Sam, sure. thank you so much for being with us today. And thank you. Love that you were such a good sport about that first I'll question. look for everybody at Lakewood Cultural <laughs> yes. Center on Saturday. That's thank right. You. It is Saturday. You can catch Sam Adams' game, set, match comedy show at the Lakewood Cultural Center this Saturday. Get your tickets right now. The website is right there up on your screen Saturday, October 21st. Can't believe it's already October 21st.